Welcome back to Wayne's Motor Co. Today, we're going to get started on the 1956 Triumph Desert Sled. Stick around. Alright guys, so since the old desert sled hasn't got a whole lot of love on the channel, I just wanted to take a moment and kind of maybe just do a walk around and we'll talk about some of the cool things that are going on on this bike that we're going to be taking out to the Biltwell 100 and racing 100 miles through the desert. Taking a vintage motorcycle through the desert with rocks and boulders and going up mountains and creek beds and flats and sand. It's not a normal thing, so we got to do a lot of customization to this bike, but I wanted to do it in such a way that it was very period correct. Now, period correct means using pieces and parts that would have been on this motorcycle if somebody had raced it back in the late 50s or early 60s. This right here, man, if you don't know much about Vintage Triumphs, but uh, finding an original Bates Desert Racing seat is pretty much impossible. However, I did come across this one and immediately snatched it up because I knew that it would work perfectly for this build. So that is a Bates Desert Racing seat. Next thing we talked about, we've seen the video. These are Girling Racing Shocks. Uh, very difficult to find these in rebuildable condition. We did the polyurethane bushings for those. Super stoked to have those on there. Now this is actually from a Triumph duplex frame, which Triumph made a duplex frame. Duplex means that instead of having a single down tube frame, it actually had a split down tube frame. So there was actually two of those. Uh, so this is an oil tank from a Triumph duplex frame. I uh, had to do some modifications to it, make a rear tab mount. It had a breather here, cut that off, put the tab mount on there so it works. Got a set of knobby, big fat knobby tires on it. Uh, everybody keeps asking about the gas tank. Uh, this gas tank has actually been in our family for quite a few years and been on a few different Triumph motorcycles. Uh, but for the past few years, this tank has just kind of been sitting up on a shelf, looking cool, and it looks really cool, I think so. And I said, let's pull that out. Let's throw it up on the desert sled. This tank is actually probably a 1963 through 1965 Triumph tank. It's a race bike. It ain't gotta be original. It ain't gotta be nothing spectacular, but it's gotta look cool. And that's what we're doing. We're looking cool. We got the Webco Desert Racing Bar. Steve McQueen, Bud Eakins, and all the cool guys from back in the day. They'll be rocking these handlebars on their bike, so I wanted to make sure that we got a set of those bars for this project. Front tire, front wheel, all that stuff. 21 inch, kind of different. Most of the old desert racing bikes ran the 19 stock wheel. Big old knobby tire. Both these tires are actually uh, Michelin cross competition tires, so they should be pretty aggressive. Wrapping up the front. This is from my good friend Scott Presidio Motors out in Arizona. He makes these super cool number plates. I hand painted the 78 because I was born in 1978. So I thought, cool, hey, why not? So today's project is going to have to do with the front end of this motorcycle. So underneath these gaiters are a set of exposed springs. They run on the outside of the fork tubes. And that is uh, what your dampening system is for your, your front end, your springs. You got, you know, tube dampeners down here inside the sliders. But these front ends uh, going through the desert, they do get tweaked pretty bad. The front end hitting rocks and stuff and it wants to twist and stuff. So what we're going to do is put a fork brace to go across and connect both of these fork tubes at the lower point. You got the two points at top. We're gonna do it down at the bottom. And that fork brace is made by the same guy who made the number plate, Mr. Scott over at Presidio Motors. 
He was out of stock actually in these, but he made me up one really quickly because he knew that I was wanting to get this bike going as quickly as possible so that we can do some tuning on it. Hopefully, by the end of this video, we'll have this motorcycle off of the lift, ready to go, ready to rock and roll. So let's get this front end broken down, let's get these fork braces on here, and let's get this bike off the table. Stick around. Normally, if you were doing on this on your motorcycle, you would drain the fork oil first, but I built that front end a few years ago and I'd been kicking around as a mock-up front end and I knew it didn't have any fluids in it, so I didn't have to worry about that. But before we move on to the next part, which is disassembling that fork tube to allow us to put on the fork brace, I just wanted to let you know we're going to do something super awesome, something super special just for you guys, the viewers of this video. Now, for the next week, the next seven days that this video is up, everyone who jumps down in the comments and leaves the hashtag jerk supply company in the comments, you are automatically going to be entered for our giveaway. What are you gonna win, you may ask? Well, you're gonna win the Jerk Supply Weems Motor Co. Collab Shop Rag and the Super Limited, we don't even have these on our website, Weems Motor Co. Swag Pack with our button pins inside of that. All you have to do is simply jump down in the comments, leave hashtag Jerk Supply Co. and you get entered to win this. Winner will be chosen on YouTube Live following the video. All right, so that's where we're at with this. We're gonna get these forks broken down, we're gonna get them disassembled, and we're gonna install that super, super sweet Presidio Motor Company fork brace on the Triumph Desert sled. Let's knock it out. Also, it's important to note that it doesn't take a whole lot of special tools to break down these front ends. However, there are a couple things you might want to go ahead and grab, and that is the fork nut spanner and the fork seal cup holder specialty tool. Both of these tools can be found from our good friends over at Lowbrow Customs. They have tools, parts for your motorcycle. Make sure you jump over there, check them out, Give them a thumbs up, buy something, get your bike back on the road. Let's break down these forks. Well, talk about a pleasant surprise. Hey, welcome back to the shop, Austin. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 Well, we're not working on a on a Harvey Danielson Snorkster today, but uh, we are working on the world's greatest motorcycle brand. And what is that? Triumph. Triumph. He knows it. He knows what it's about. Yeah. Triumph. 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 Try. We should call it Triumph. We should not call it Triumph because this is going to be a. All right, so uh, Austin, you're going to give me a hand installing the uh, fork brace for the Triumph Desert Sled that I'm racing across the desert. Are you, uh, are you up to the snuff? Have you ever worked a wrench in your life? No, never worked a wrench. Never worked a wrench? Well, guess what? Today is going to be your day. So my good buddy Scott over at Presidio 
uh, supplies this wonderful fort brace for us and uh, he does include instructions with that so if you are not familiar with exactly how to work on these style of front ends like Austin has never done it before in his life yet he's fixing to do it it's really cool to have instructions but you know what here at Wayne's Motor Co we don't need the instructions we can just make it happen right so probably. the most important thing, probably, yeah, probably, most important thing is to always make sure that you have your fork legs on the correct orientation of the motorcycle because there is this sweet little knob that sticks out on the inside of one of your fork legs, and that is for your brake. That is your brake anchor. You want to make sure that we put that on the right side, on the brake side. So when we're installing these amazing cnc billet aluminum awesomenesses we want to make sure that the side that has the counter sinks right that's where the bolts go in uh that those are facing outward away from the motorcycle outward yep and we know that that little knob for the brake faces inward question is this a lightsaber it is not a lightsaber, but that would be super cool. I, I don't know. You want me to hit you with it? Let's, let's try it. <laughs> hit me in the back. Come on. Come on. Oh! <laughs> He's goofy. <laughs> All right. So we want to make sure that that little knob for the brake is in and that those recessed holes are facing out. So Austin, what you're going to do is you're going to simply slide this on. And you got to go all the way up past that threaded portion. We're going to slide it up there, okay? Okay. You sure you can do this? 100%. Okay. Now we're making double the lightsaber. Oh, wait. It got kind of stiff there, right? Oh, oh man. All right, so we're probably going to have to uh, have you hold this. Hold. Might need a little gentle persuasion with the uh, old hammer. So... Make sure that that's in. Those are facing out, just like so. And we're gonna just gently little tap, 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 little tap, 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 tap. You wanna tap some? If you hit my hand, I'm gonna freaking hit you with the hammer and not the lightsaber. All right, keep going. No, 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 I'm just tense, I'm sorry. Get right here. Ow! Ow! Jerk. Give me that. Oh wait, didn't I say I had to hit you with a hammer? Okay, okay, ow. Hopefully I don't get busted for child abuse. Bullying. Bullying. <laughs> You need to get bullied. No, I don't. Some more hammering. Didn't know that could happen, did you? Hold that. Beautiful. Let's do the other side. All right, Austin. Take two. Pull that all the way out. Harder. All right, hold it. You ready? Ready. Woo. There we go. This might make it a little bit easier. All right. So this side does not have a brake stay. We just need to make sure that that little knob where the fork mounts are actually where the fender mounts up is facing in. And the same thing. What are those? Uh, knob, knobs. No. Oh. <laughs> Recessed holes. The recessed holes are facing away from that fender mount. And we just slide it up on top, just like so. Grab your hammer. Oh, God. And this time, don't hit my hand. A little bit harder. Just make it. Oh, God. like building a Lego set. You're tapping it, stand up. Pastors does not work either. 
harder. Okay, okay, you're scaring me. I'm thoroughly terrified. You've made no progress. Thank you. Aha! Success! Have success. Was that fun for you, buddy? No, not at all. I'm ready to go. You done? Like that? Uh, probably. Pro probably. Pro 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 Dude, I, I came home <laughs> from a long, hard day at school. So much work. Did you run into any bullies at, at, at school? Because you got a bully at home. No, I don't need any bullies from school because this bully right here hit me. Okay, 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 okay. Oh jeez, oh jeez, alright! Alright, now, before anybody decides to call the police on Weems Motorcoat, no, I don't beat up my son. My goodness, we just like to have a good time, have fun, and let's just go ahead and wrap up these forks, put them back together, and check this thing out. <laughs> So pretty straightforward with that so far. Last thing to do is to put in the cross brace, slide that into place and put those four set screws in. Shouldn't take me a second. Boom, and voila, just like that. Presidio Motors hooking us up with the fork brace and the front number plate. That's gonna about wrap up this video, but if you are interested in purchasing one of these wonderful, amazing items, head over to Instagram, check him out. It's Presidio underscore Motors. Give them a follow. Tell them that Weems Motor Co. sent you. Well, that's it for the video today, guys. Thank you for hanging out. It's been an amazing time, turning some wrenches, working on the desert sled. We're gonna get it off the table. We're gonna do some uh, a little bit of maintenance on it, make it get it going. But if you're new around here, make sure you jump down and hit that subscribe button. If you really like the video, hit that thumbs up. Turn those notifications on and let everyone know what's going on right here at Weems Motor Co. Peace.